Yo, what's going on, guys? It's Houston Sports Talk back in the video today. And today, uh, we're going to be going over what the depth chart looks like for the Milwaukee Bucks after trading for Damian Lillard, arguably, if not the second best, the third best point guard in the NBA, who averaged 32 points per game last season with the Portland Trailblazers. Let's go over what this what this team looks like now. Um, starting with this, go you know we're gonna start with the starting lineup, and then we're gonna go all the way from their bench, going from sixth man to twelfth man. Um, all right, let's get into it. So um, there's not really for sure starting lineup, and and one of the biggest key factors into this team is who's gonna be the starting shooting guard. With them trading away Grace and Allen, um, they don't really know who's gonna be that starting shooting guard. They they have a couple options. You and here I'm gonna go over the two starting lineup options for the Milwaukee Bucks, and I'll I'll tell you guys at the end what I think is the option that I think the Milwaukee Bucks will go with. Damian Lillard at the point guard, Pat Cunnington at the shooting guard, Chris Middleton at the small forward, Giannis Antetokounmpo at the power forward. Then at the center, Brook Lopez, of course. Then here's the second lineup option: Damian Lillard at the point guard, Chris Middleton at the shooting guard, Bobby Portis at the small four, or actually Giannis Antetokounmpo at the small four, Bobby Portis at the power forward, and Brook Lopez at the center. I think they'll go with the first option. I think they want to keep Bobby Portis on the bench uh, because look at their roster right now. He's kind of their backup center because if Bobby Portis is starting, um, your backup, your 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 best center off the bench is ba- basically Robin Lopez. He's a stretch center for this team off the bench, and he's a, he's a, he does a great job off the bench, and is as a six man candidate almost every year. I don't see them tr- trying to start Bobby Portis. I don't I don't see that. Um, I think you know they definitely can get some questionable. It's it's definitely a questionable decision starting Pat Connington, but um, who are you going to start at the shooting guard instead of Pat Connington, Malik Beasley? I don't think so. So. Uh, or that, that definitely could be an option. I just don't see it happening. Um, some might say more on Marwan uh, Bocham, but I don't think he's played enough to, to earn that job. Maybe down the road in the season he could if he plays good, but um, I, I think it's going to be Pat Cunnington starting for the uh, for, for this team at the starting shooting guard. Or who knows, maybe you see Chris Middleton at the two and then Pat Cunnington at the three. That's definitely... Uh, you know, that's definitely possible. But yeah, let's go over what I think this depth chart looks like for the Milwaukee Bucks after the Lillard trade. At the one, Damian Lillard. At the two, Pat Connington. At the three, Chris Middleton. At the four, Giannis Antetokounmpo. And at the five, Brooke Lopez. Here you go, off the bench. Uh, sixth man, Bobby Portis. Seventh man, Malik Beasley. Eighth man, Marwan Bocham. Ninth man, Jay Crowder. Tenth man, the second round pick. And someone who a lot of people love, Chris Livingston. Um... And then 11th, Tian Theontis onto the Cupo, and 12th, Ty Ty Washington. The biggest, the biggest weakest point I think this team has is backup point guard, and they're already interested in signing Cameron Payne to be their backup point guard. I think you know this has nothing to do with the the Damian Lillard trade. The reason why they were kind of weak at that backup point guard position is because they did lose free agent Javon Carter uh, to the Chicago Bulls. So. Um, who just signed, a th- I believe it was a three-year, $20 million deal or three-year, $18 million deal with the Chicago with the, with the Chicago Bulls. So um, they need a backup point guard. They're already rumored to be interested in uh, former Phoenix Sun and former teammate of the ninth man, Jay Crowder. Um, and both of those guys played the Bucks in the finals in 2021. He would be a great option. He's a good three-point shooter, good scorer, good passer, decent defender. I think he'd be a really good option for the Bucks, and the Bucks need to make that signing so they have a backup point guard as soon as possible. Damian Lillard's not playing 48 minutes a night. He very well could play in the area of 33 to 37 minutes a night for the Milwaukee Bucks, but there's 48 minutes in a basketball game. You need somebody to be a backup point guard. So in that case, I think your guy is Cameron, uh, Cameron Payne. And honestly, as a Rockets fan, I feel like I can say this, but Ty Ty Washington is not that guy. Um, if Ty Ty Washington, it, you know, in his rookie, I know it was his rookie season last year, and I watched him a lot on the Rockets as a Rockets fan. But um, he, if he, if he cannot be a backup point guard for a team who is not good and only won twenty two games last year and is one of the worst teams in the NBA, and I hate the Rockets slander because they're going to be better, way better than they were last year. But I'm that's not gonna. I'm not gonna 
I, even if we're going to be better this year than we were last year, still suck last year. And he, he barely got minutes at the, as, as probably the best backup point guard on the roster. And he didn't do that great. Did okay. Didn't do that great. If he, if he's not going to be that great of a backup point guard on a, on a tanking team, a team that uh, doesn't even win 25 games in the season, uh, he's not going to be a, a backup point guard for a team that has the best odds to win an NBA championship. I'm sorry. But so in that case, I think uh, Milwaukee needs to go out there and get a guy like Cameron Payne. You guys let me know your thoughts on um, what I think. You guys let me know your thoughts on the depth chart for the Milwaukee Bucks. I think it's going to, you know, I think this Milwaukee Bucks team is just going to be just fine. I know you got a little bit of a point guard, backup point guard problem right now. I think they'll figure that out and they'll be just fine. I think they're going to be a great team. And honestly, I think the Milwaukee Bucks have to be the favorite to win the NBA championship this year. But yeah, that's my opinion, but we'll see what happens. Um, obviously, they have some tough teams to tangle, tangle with. That You know, you got the Phoenix Suns, the team they beat in the finals in 2021, the reigning champions, the Denver Nuggets. Um, are the Golden State Warriors back with adding in Chris Paul? The Los Angeles Lakers have made some uh, some great moves this offseason. So um those are the boston celtics i wouldn't say the miami heat but the, you got the boston celtics the, the Cavs have made a lot of moves there are some threats i i would say that uh, the three best teams in the eastern conference in my opinion right now are milwaukee bucks the cleveland cavaliers and the boston celtics three best teams in the west in my opinion are the denver nuggets the phoenix suns and the los angeles lakers but yeah um we'll see what happens though um, i think this bucks team will be good and i have them in the nba finals as of right now um, but if this team stays healthy, if Chris Middleton stays healthy, I have no fears about Giannis and, and Damian Lord staying healthy. And I know Giannis had some health problems last year. I think these guys, I think those two superstars will be fine. My main concerns with this team with health issues is Chris Middleton. He's found himself a lot of health issues over the last two seasons. So yeah, if Chris Middleton can stay healthy and Brooke Lopez can be the same player he's been for the Milwaukee over the past couple of years and not to search not, and not and he doesn't start to show his age this bucks team will be pretty damn scary here's some of your thoughts uh and that's for the video hope you guys enjoyed peace out